wanted to do this video uh, this channel update when we hit like 2000 subscribers but this kind of eluded me and i'm gonna go to get to that in a little bit so let me just switch to this screen so at first i want to thank distrotube for shouting out small uh, linux youtubers right Ch check check this out Next up is the Linux Renaissance. Now, Linux Renaissance is a little bit different than the other channels I've recommended so far because this is mostly talking head videos. If you like watching a guy talk about things, you know, it's mainly a head on screen, kind of like, you know, my talking head videos where I just sit here and, you know, BS with you guys. And, you know, a lot of his stuff is like that. If you go into his videos, you can see he's going to chat about uh, Firefox and from Amiga to uh, Linux and uh, some valve stuff and now it's not all talking head videos there's some tutorial stuff in here as well if i go into videos and search by pop yeah so thank you derek thank you for shouting me out thank you for shouting out other content creators and uh, i have earned a lot of um, new subscribers right so during the let me switch here during this uh, crazy weekend i have reached like uh, one uh, 1900 um, subscribers right it was uh, it says here like uh, 1700 but at one point i saw on my phone it was like uh, 1890 or something and this was crazy it, it's a crazy su super crazy weekend and i'm so grateful for being uh, you know featured on a channel like yours and i'm very grateful grateful that you have connected all of us uh, content smaller content creators who haven't even known for each other so i went ahead uh, on this on this page here and basically i clicked and subscribed to all of them immediately as we were shouted out and what i noticed is that today this subscriber count fell down really low so from it fell down almost almost like 500 uh, subs and at first I thought, okay, people subscribed and uh, they didn't like my content. They went away, they, they, they moved on. This is perfectly fine because the this channel is created for people who like this kind of content, right? It's not forced on anyone. It's, it's perfectly fine. People come and go. Uh, but then what I noticed is I went to some of these other channels to which I have subscribed uh, previously, like, for example, the Linux Next. And I went here and it says subscribe. Hmm. I am 100% certain that I have subscribed to each and every one of them. And then I went to Professor Linux and what do you know? I am no longer subscribed to that one either. Okay, let's go to Bread and Penguins. Okay. This one I am still subscribed surprisingly so i asked her uh, if she had any such weird spikes right and she also told me that she has had uh, a spike and then go down and she thought it was like cleaning youtube cleaning up bots right but this just proves that youtube isn't just cleaning bots but rather they have some kind of unfortunate algorithm going on it may be legit what they are trying to do like uh, protect uh, their whole site uh, from some kind of spam or purchasing uh, followers so so that's legit right but clearly this um, algorithm whichever it is is not working completely as intended because i have personally subscribed to professor linux because i wanted to be subscribed to that ch to that channel right so i'm going to subscribe again and i'm going to subscribe again to this one as well and i have already checked the other ones i am still subscribed to those so for, for as far as i'm concerned um i have been removed from channels to which i have subscribed with my own free will right and that's not okay from youtube to do this to me as for you guys you know um if if i lost some uh, subscribers that's no big deal but the, the thing that matters is you know that youtube should respect what you subscribe to and it should stay that way until you click unsubscribe 
Uh, so one of the other topics that I wanted to talk about is how I calculate supporting my channel with comments, right? Um, a couple of videos ago, I have um, kind of in invented uh, a little game where I prop uh, the top five commenters uh, on my channel. And at first I wanted to do this according to the uh, number of comments that you left on my channel in the previous 30 days. That, that seems like a reasonable amount. Uh, and then I realized that some of the bad actors could use this in the future for spamming and leaving like low quality uh, comments. So I reworked my uh, script uh, really quickly and made it so that it only counts the amount of videos that you have been participating in. So if you have uh, participated in uh, terms of commenting on one of my videos, you get one point. If you have participated in two different videos on my channel, you get two points. Uh, and after 30 days, uh, or should I say when I will be publishing this video, I will run my script again to like go through my previous 30 days of videos and it, it will uh, search all of the comments and sort them in a way uh, from the um, top commenters to the lowest commenters, but excluding any duplicate comments that you have been made, making <laughs> on one of my videos, you know, so it's it's more fair uh, and it brings up more uh, kind of support and in engage engagement from you because uh, the first time that I ran my first version of the script, uh, I have noticed some guy whose name I have never heard of and he was top number one of all of you guys. He had a lot more comments than any of you and it, it's just kind of weird because you, I usually remember the names or avatars or, or something and then I noticed that all of his comments are on only one of my videos and he, he hasn't I, I think he hasn't subscribed because some of your subscriptions are not uh, public so I can't know for sure but I think this is uh, one of those people who comes, leaves a couple of comments and goes away and never comes back. So I wouldn't take this recognition from all of you who really did support my channel with comments so far uh, and prop him up uh, above you because that's not fair, right? So this is how my script works. And the only thing that I might change in the future uh, is uh, I might broaden it to last three months because most of you who do support my channel with comments, usually you have very similar amount of um, uh, videos that you have supporting uh, on my channel. So you are all contending for the same spot, right? And this is why I cannot really make top five comments. I usually make top uh, seven or top nine because um, some of you have commented uh, on four of my videos. Some of you are have been commenting on three of my videos. And there is like uh, five of you who have been commenting on three of my videos. And then there is like 10 of you who have been commenting on two of my videos. And, you know, it, it's a little bit um, problematic to calculate just the top five spots, right? So I might switch to three months, but we'll see. It stays at 30 days for now. Uh, so there is Mr. M, a friend of the channel, and I'm going to explain this. So uh, a couple of videos ago, I told you that I need a new laptop for my distro hopping, my testing uh, various Linux distributions because I do have a laptop and I already said that, but uh, my laptop is uh, on Arch Linux and I need it to be my uh, dependency machine, a uh, machine on which I can depend when I go outside my house, when I'm uh, in the bed, when I'm on the couch. I need my stuff always uh, installed and ready for me to work on. And it's a bit unfortunate to dual boot all, all these various distributions. Some of them have uh, some crazy installers that you have to be very careful about how you use them. Uh, and I was like afraid to I mean, I can always do a backup, backup, right? But I have just decided that I'm going to use uh, another laptop just for testing and for always making clean installs. And I told myself I'm going to uh, collect some money uh, to, to get there. And if you are willing to uh, donate to that cause, feel free to do it. If you don't do it uh, also, uh, perfectly fine. I'm going to collect uh, these 200 euros uh, sooner or later. It's, it's no big deal, right? And some of you did donate, uh, 
uh, but then Mr. M came and what happened here is that Mr. M who does not want to be named uh, have brought me a ThinkPad and this is a laptop that I am going to use for my distro hopping and this starts yesterday so thank you very much Mr. M for donating a ThinkPad I love it and I'm going to use the rest of the money that I have collected. I think I have collected something like 60, 60 euros from you guys. And I'm going to invest this uh, purely into this channel. I am probably going to buy new lights for the camera because this ring light here is uh, a bit awkward and it doesn't really provide enough light. And some of you have already uh, told me that the uh, dynamic lightning uh, on this uh, camera is not very good often. So I'm going to improve. A little bit on that one of the other topics that I wanted to talk about is how I decide on my content so first thing that you need to understand is that I do not do this channel for work I don't uh, earn any living uh, I don't earn any money for for my living from this uh, I actually don't earn anything from this money except what you gave me for uh, for a ThinkPad uh, but the the whole purpose of this channel uh, was to share my Linux voyage, my Linux renaissance, so to put it, because um, I, in case if I didn't explain it properly on my previous videos, uh, there was a long time when I was purely a Linux user and then there was a big gap uh, when I was um, hired and working with Windows, uh, mostly because I had to do that. Uh, and at some point I just had enough and I switched permanently back to Linux. So this gap is rather big uh, in between and I have a lot of things to catch up with. And one of the ways that I'm doing this is that I'm learning together with you. I'm sharing what I am learning uh, on my path and I like to document all these things. I like to learn more things. I like to have opinion about things because uh, I do listen to other YouTubers, I do read a lot online, I do um, read other people's opinions, all that is perfect, uh, but what I prefer and what I love to do most is I love to have my own opinion and just happens to be I like to share it as well. So the way I do my channel is that I do what I like to do and I share what I like to do and uh, there wasn't any backseating, to be honest, uh, on this channel. Nobody really told me uh, what I should or should not be doing. Uh, however, there is always somebody who is like, like a little bit lonely. And, you know, um, like this guy, can there uh, really be a better reason to leave Firefox than because some guy cosplaying Red Riding Hood said so? Okay, I, I took this as a funny comment. Uh, because, you know, I didn't really say, I didn't really tell anyone to, uh, what did he say, leave Firefox. I did not say that. I only said that I have switched browser to, to a new one. And I also explained that I like to research. I like to have my opinions. I like to uh, test all the browsers. I want to know every little detail about every other browser that exists for Linux. And, and I do this with pure pleasure. Do I hate Mozilla Firefox? No. Nope. Do I think it's a bad browser? Nope. Do I think if anyone should leave Firefox if they like Firefox? Absolutely not. Okay. So let me be clear. This channel is for people who primarily like my content. And what's even more important is that you have your own opinions about stuff. The thing that I like to have as a bond with any community that I participate in, I like a good argument. And by argument, I don't mean uh, fighting or cursing or, or bad words. It's dropping like uh, a bombs with facts and opinions, but strong opinions uh, and with background and, and with proof and with, you know, all, all around uh, a healthy argument can be a very power, powerful tool for, for learning. 
uh, I apologize for for uh, breaking my tongue, but I am trying to assemble uh, what I'm trying to say in Croatian and then translating to a foreign language, which is English in this case. And I think I'm doing fairly well, but you know, some, some words go uh, below my tongue or something like that. So what is really important is that you do not come to my channel and just blindly, you know, oh, Dart said that, you know, we should all leave Firefox and today we are all leaving Firefox and tomorrow I tell you all to jump through the window and then what? I no longer have any audience, right? You understand how that works? Uh, so what I told this guy is uh, a joke. Absolutely no, this is the best reason to leave Firefox is because I said so and he thinks uh, that I'm serious, right? Um, I mean, it, it is what it is, but then again, uh, he is a little bit overreacting and um, what I said here, what I said here is most of my friends use whatever is default on Windows and Mac. So is this like a bad comment or anything? It's just facts, you know, people use default browsers and this is how it works in uh, most of other people's computers. So why would you go ahead and, and say this? It's, it's you know, it, it's showing you that uh, you are a bit lonely uh, and you, I, I suppose he's coming here to make friends or something, but I think that you, if you want to make friends, right, if you come into some new community, and th this channel is a fairly new community, right, there, there are a couple of you guys who are very regular here and who are supporting me uh, fantastically with comments and thank you very much for that. Uh, and I, I think the whole thing is growing in a very healthy fashion and I love to have arguments with, with all of you. So if this guy came here, or maybe it's a girl, but I doubt it, uh, if they came here to, you know, make friends, uh, I think there there is a different way to do that, right? So uh, one of the things that I'm just going to ask before I end this video is please, please, please do not bother this person. I would very much like this person to either go away from here on their own or find a way to blend in with the a uh, healthy part of this little tiny community, okay? So th this is my wish. I do not want to delete any comments from this channel. I don't want to ban anyone from this channel. I don't want to say rude things to anyone. I just want to build up a healthy community to which any bad actors will be uh, feeling deterred from even attempting to enter because they will know ahead that they will have no chance in spreading any negativity here, okay? This is my wish and I'm going to be trying very hard to implement what I just said. Uh, so one of the last things that I want to say is that from now on I am putting into action a code of conduct on this channel and this will be be excellent to each other, okay? I'm going to see you in the next video.